I graduated from Mississippi State University in 1979. I was a Bachelor of Arts major in Mass Media Communication with an emphasis in political science. Didn't know if I wanted to be a, a anchor at a news desk or a lawyer, but either way I figured it would hold me in good stead, and it has. I would have to say the thing that had my, the most impact on my life at Mississippi State was being elected the first woman student association president. Mississippi State's 100 year history. Not only was it an honor to serve such an outstanding university, but it broke the glass ceiling for women to be in politics at state that had not happened before. Being the Student Association President for that year I think was very important because before that time our presidents had always been fraternity boys or men and there would never been any other person that ran for this office that was not. And I was a member of a, of a sorority but it was a, a unifying experience for students who were either not a member of a fraternity or sorority but our graduate students, our faculty. It really turned the leaf for Mississippi State to include everyone on campus to being involved in campus politics. I chose to stay in Mississippi after graduating from Mississippi State and also law school because it's a great place to live and work. I knew that I wanted to be here. The people in Mississippi are the most amazing, interesting people, and I want to be a part of what makes Mississippi great. We have such phenomenal artists, um, you know, activists, even entrepreneurs. And finally, I think the nation is taking note of all the good things about Mississippi. And so just being a part of making that happen and watching its history grow was why I wanted to be here. Mississippi has impacted my life and career by not only whetting my appetite for public service, but also it's a state that encourages free thought and for people who are, who are maybe can be anything they want to be in Mississippi. And when I went to Mississippi State and had the opportunity of being president, that opened up many doors for me. I had opportunities that I'd never dreamed possible. I got to intern in Washington, D.C. with G.B. Sonny Montgomery, also meet Senator Stennis and work with him some. All of that is because I think in Mississippi, we are a very political nation in that we are very involved in only our not only our cities, but in our state. And they have always encouraged, I think, through Mississippi State, because we've had so many elder statesmen, for young people to stay involved in public service and to, to do what they can for the state of Mississippi. I think we are so fortunate in an age where education kind of gets short shrift that Mississippi State has always worked hard, I think hand in hand with the state of Mississippi and offering its professors, its, its students, interns, to help Mississippi, whether it's with economic growth or in the agricultural arena, it's just been a wonderful partnership between the two. And it makes me proud, being an alumni of Mississippi State, to know that my university has had such a big part of the growth of Mississippi as a state. I'm Laurie Rosenbaum-Williams, and I'm proud to be a resident of Madison, Mississippi.